Hey, this is Morgan Kinney with Bob Hillier of Line Honors Yacht Racing Outfitters as well as the sailing yacht Medi, the TP52. He's the helmsman and tactician and he's here to give us a few pointers on packing for the Mac. Hello everyone. Uh, when we do a Mac here, I think the, the main thing is everybody typically, uh, in my view, actually takes too much gear. And uh, you have to look at the, uh, of course, look at the weather conditions, but typically and when, if you think about most races you're in, you actually kind of start in some gear and you actually wear that all the way through the entire race and you end up packing much more than you need. So for this race, we're, right now we're forecasting about a 30 to 40 hour race, somewhere in there. So it's going to be on the water basically two nights. So for me, this is my bag. It's fairly small. It has everything else. The only thing I'm not, you don't see here are my sea boots, which I do always take. So I have a sea boots and also my spin lock deck vest will be on there, but those are already on the boat for me. So inside the bag, a couple essentials that I, I, I must have. Of course, the line honors belt, that goes without saying. Uh, but sunscreen, always remember your sunscreen. A lot of people forget this, but this is really good, so always remember your sunscreen. A pair of sunglasses, really key. Uh, really good flashlight, uh, that's key. And it um, has to have red light, correct? It's nice to have red light, but something that's, uh, I like a pinpoint spotlight that's very bright. Uh, and this makes it easy to actually shield from a helmsman eye, helmsman's eyes and stuff like that, so it's really nice. And has a, a lanyard attachment point, which is nice. Um, I always carry an extra carabiner just to keep my boots together, something like that, it's really nice. And then a nice set of base layers, which I almost put on from the start. Yes, that's right, it won't smell good at the end, but it's basically what I'm very comfortable in. Um, the other crew like it because it keeps the flies away from them, too. But a nice piece of base layer is wonderful. Basically, it acts as a wicking material to pull moisture from your skin and then lets the jacket or the outerwear really do its job or just great UV protection. And actually can keep you kind of cool because it keeps your skin, you know, the moisture pulling from your skin. It keeps you very comfortable. Uh, top, and I have some leggings that I'll wear sometimes with a short or just underneath my fall weather gear. Uh, another wicking short sleeve shirt, I like to have that with me. So those are my basically my base layers. Um, I have an offshore hat that I wear and this basically helps me to, you know, at, at night, uh, keeps my head warm which is another big thing everybody needs to keep their head warm at night. So I bring this one as a cap for some visor and then also keep a, a fleece cap in my bag. Because keeping your head warm is key. So if you do that at night, you'll stay a lot much more comfortable in the water. Uh, a couple, uh, one spare tech shirt just for the finish when I come into the dock so I look presentable for the hug with my wife. Very nice. Uh, and I have my, uh, my basic fall weather gear jacket, fairly light. Um, I don't need too much offshore typically for this race. If it, I do see it's going to be a really, really tough forecast, so I'll maybe go to a more offshore style jacket, but this is an inshore, inshore race jacket, but it's got a nice hood protection for me, so that's great. And then I go into my bibs, and these are pretty much, um, I almost live in these. Um, they breathe really well, they got great protection, but I'll be in mo these most of the time. And from there, I keep an extra, a couple extra pairs of socks, because I like to have my feet uh, dry, and when I pull my, and I'll wear my boots most of the time. And I'll kind of look, and sometimes I won't even take shoes. So either uh, pretty, pretty much be in my boots the whole time, very possible. But that's what I pack. It's pretty light, and pretty compact, and gives me everything I need. And then I send the shore, shore gear up to the island so I can freshen up when I get up there. So hope that helps you. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Bobby. You're take welcome. care. Cheers.